lovelies, it's Miss Lady Lace here on my Glamour channel with my next fabulous vintage beauty tutorial. Today I have a tips and tricks video where I'm going to be going through my stage makeup and sharing some of my fabulous tips with all of you. It's currently Fringe Festival here in Perth, Western Australia. Tonight I'm in Let's Dance, a David Bowie burlesque tribute. So I'm going to be catering my makeup a little bit more towards this but still doing my classic burlesque makeup. If there are any burlesque dancers watching or if you're interested in burlesque give me a comment below and tell me about your passions. So let's go back to the beginning and I'll demonstrate my stage makeup tutorial tips. I'll start by taking my Rise and Shine primer and I'm going to apply that to my face and down my decolletage. I'll be using my foundation brush to apply this. For foundation, we want a really great coverage as we're going to be on stage. So I like the Ceramide foundation from Designer Brands. A stick foundation would also be really fabulous for a great coverage. And I'm going to be applying this all over my face down my neck and decolletage and also on my ears. Sometimes when I tell people this, they think that's a little bit strange. But quite often these areas are where we tend to get a bit of discoloration if we're feeling nervous. So we wanna make sure we have a nice even coat of beautiful makeup so we look picture perfect on stage. I'll then take some concealer and I'm going to apply that under my eyes just where I get a little bit of dark circles appearing and I'll blend that in using my highlight brush. With all foundation, I recommend setting with a powder and this is the one I'll be using today. It's especially important to set our foundation when we'll be performing as we're gonna get quite sweaty on stage. So we really wanna make sure our makeup is going to stay in place. As I mentioned before, today is more tips and tricks rather than a full tutorial. So if there's anything you want me to go through more thoroughly, I'll link videos that I've already created below. Next, we're gonna move on to our eyebrows and I'm going to be using these two angle brushes. My brow pencil from Designer Brands and I'm going to set that with some eyeshadow powder. I just use this reddish tone but just find anything that suits your hair color or the color of the brows that you desire. The trick when it comes to eyebrows for stage is you don't want to overdraw them too much really. You're just deepening them a little bit in color so your facial expression will be really easy to read on stage. And as I have a very little eyebrow, I definitely need to draw them in. I'd say even if you have great eyebrows, still deepen them just a little bit to make them pop on stage. We'll now move on to our eye makeup. So I'm gonna start with a white pencil and this is something I only really do for stage makeup or specific photo shoots. But I'm gonna go in and under the eyebrow, I'm gonna color a solid amount of white color. And then I'm gonna blend that using a flathead brush. I'll then set that with powder using the Crystal Glimmer palette using the white tone here. So I'm going to color across the brow bone and shade down. For my show tonight, as I mentioned, I'm in a David Bowie tribute burlesque show. So I'll be doing makeup slightly inspired by the makeup he wears in Labyrinth. I haven't opted for the really extreme eyebrows as I still wanted that classic pinup look. For my makeup though, I'll be using gray tones and this is in the Sea Breeze palette. And from the Starlight palette, I'll be using the black and the gold tones through here. I'll be using a poofy eyeshadow brush for the really even color distribution, diffusing colors and things like that. And for really getting those really deep contours, I'll be using a more angled eyeshadow brush. I'll also be using this angle brush to get that shape through. Generally for my makeup, I apply this through this section here, but today I'm gonna go in that general direction and just flick that up a little bit so it follows with the cat eye. Eye makeup is definitely very important important for stage makeup. You really want to paint for the back of the room, but it's important we don't make our eyes too dark and so that we lose that beautiful facial expression.
We'll now apply our eyeliner on and I'm going to be using the fabulous product here with my vamp stamp. Just like the rest of our stage makeup, we want our eyeliner to just be a little bit more bold. While that eyeliner sets, I'm going to go in with my white pencil and just highlight the inner corner of my eyes. Under the outer edge of the winged eyeliner. And just along the waterline of my eye. I'll then blend that in. And set with some of my white powder. And that's just under the cat eye and also the inner corner of the eye, not in the waterline. With the black shade from the Starlight palette and a really lovely firm angled brush, I'm going to go under the eye and just draw a little flick going out. This will just give a little bit more pop for my eyes on stage. We'll next apply our false eyelashes and the top two here are more my day wear ones. So we'll be going with the stage eyelashes at the bottom. To finish the look, I'm going to take some mascara and I'm going to blend my natural lashes into the false lashes and just apply a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes towards the outer corner. I'm also going to add a bit of bling to my eye makeup. I did a full TikTok tutorial for how to apply gemstones to your face, so I'll link that below, but I'm going to be applying some AB crystals along the top of my eyes. Next we'll be adding contour, blush and a bit of highlight. So I'm going to take my palette here and using the brown tone with an angled brush. I'm going to add some contour under my cheekbones on either side. And to define my face, just under my chin area. Using the Pink Glow brush and a blush brush, I'm going to apply a heavy amount of blush to the apples of my cheeks. So I'm going to do a big smile and use a circular motion to apply the blush on. Taking my highlighter brush and a bit of highlight, I'm gonna pop that under my cheeks and just along the bridge of my nose. I'll emphasize my beauty mark with just a touch of eyeliner and finish the makeup with a touch of lipstick. I would recommend for stage deep colors. So don't use pastels or nudes because you will lose your facial expression through your mouth by just having your lips plain. From a distance, it's really hard to see what the mouth is doing. So I recommend a red, plum, hot pink, these sorts of shades. I'm going to be using the Deep Perfect Red by Daphna as it's just such a beautiful shade. I overdraw my lips just a little bit to give a real wow look on stage and it creates that lip filler look without having to spend much money at all. It can be a really good idea to set your makeup at the end as you want it to still be looking fabulous while on stage. It may not be great for the skin, but I find hairspray really great because you're going to get so sweaty up on stage. So I just close my eyes and my mouth and add a quick spritz. And with that, our stage makeup is complete. I truly hope you've enjoyed today's video and found it a bit useful. If you have, do let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and a comment below as that really helps me out. And if there's any videos you'd like to see, especially anything burlesque related, do let me know in the comments below. If you'd like early access to these videos, exclusive content, and to help support me here on YouTube, I do have my Glamour community on Patreon. I'd like to thank all my patrons, but especially my VIP Glamour patrons, which are listed on screen now. The support you give me me truly helps me in creating more here on YouTube. To follow my daily pinup adventures, I post super regularly to Instagram and TikTok. I'll pop a little link here as well as the end of the video and to never miss out on my vintage fun, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and I will be seeing you all real soon.